Hello friends, my name is Susan and I am a neonatal nurse practitioner. Um, that usually earns me a blank look for most people. I think it's just sort of the combination of words that are all sort of big and scary. Uh, neonatal means that I work primarily with babies and that those babies are under a year old and have never left the hospital. Sometimes we do readmit babies from home. Uh, usually that is if they are a former NICU patient and they're still dealing with stuff that are NICU because you don't want me to be taking care of the people who are newly diagnosed diabetics and things like that because that's not the sort of thing we do um, in the NICU. Uh, Nurse practitioners are advanced practice registered nurses who are nurses who have gone through extra schooling and education and they have master's degrees. Um, in the real world, it means that depending on specialty, we can either practice independently um, like a primary care physician would or a primary care provider, um, or we can work in a hospital with doctors like I do and pretty much most nurse practitioners, neonatal nurse practitioners do. Um, we're also called NNPs, so if I talk about NNPs, same diff. Um, we're sort of a mix between doctor and nurse for those people who might live in places that don't use nurse practitioners. Um, in the NICUs that I've worked at, our job duties are similar to the residents, except arguably we're a bit more competent because we're not having to switch rotations every few weeks. Now, to be clear, I'm not saying anything negative about residents because I love residents. I love working with them. I like teaching them. Um, I feel NMPs are actually crucial for their education uh, because we are dedicated to our unit. We don't rotate through other units and uh, we know the routines, the diagnoses, the, the charting, the the equations needed just better than those who are only here for a few weeks and then moving along. Um, we're part of, we're all part of the same team though, and we can't function without each other. Um, so just to be clear, love those residents. Um, I decided to do this channel because I do watch a few other YouTube channels like Mama Dr. Jones, Dr. Mike, uh, Z Dog. Um, and people are often fascinated by what I do when they figure it out what it is I actually do. Um, and since I didn't see another channel that was covering NICU topics, I decided that I would do one, especially because I've been told that I'm pretty good at translating medical terms into like actual English. Um, so this channel will have education about diseases and conditions we see in the NICU, um, aimed at parents largely. And then I will also have some episodes that are aimed at different providers at other providers because I have had the, the benefit of being able to work in several different NICUs and each one has things that they ha do great. And I love to share knowledge and information and practices to other hospitals so we can all get better. And there's probably going to be some silly, funny stuff too, because it's YouTube and you know, that happens. Um, personally, I became a nurse in 2007 as part of Ohio State's graduate entry program. My first degree was in Spanish and international studies, but I changed my life goals after getting married and having kids. Uh, I was a stay-at-home mom for over five years, but life circumstances became such that I needed to go back to school and work to support my family. Uh, because both of my pregnancies have been very complicated um, and both of my babies were late preterm. They were 34 and 35 weeks. Um, and I had a lot of time on bed rest, 11 months between the two of them, um, so trying to keep me pregnant for that long. Um, my son had a, a little bit more complicated course, but he was only in the NICU for about three weeks. Um, he did get intubated and a little bit of surfactant. Um, my daughter was a girl, so she did better. I'll cover why that is in another video. Um, and she was only in the NICU for a day, which was super weird for me since she was my second because... I wasn't used to having a child rooming in with me um, at the hospital. I was surprised that they were willing to give me the child. It was great. Uh, anyway, I figured I had learned a bunch of stuff about the NICU and preemies when I was on bed rest, and I might as well use it. My mother had always said I would be a great nurse, but who wants to do what your parents tell you you'd be good at doing? Uh, that was then, and this is now. So I found Ohio State's graduate entry program, and... It was the fastest way to become a nurse for me, um, having a, having had a Bachelor of Arts and something else. And I found I really had a passion for helping families in the NICU. 
I'll probably make a specific video um, talking about grad entry programs and why, why they are not the end of the nursing world, as some people think. Uh, I think they are actually really good programs if they're done well, and I think Ohio State does a good program. Um, so I graduated with a Master of Science from Ohio State in June 2011, um, passing my boards right away. Yay! Um, I've worked at multiple hospitals throughout the country, um, including some of the big names in the NICU community. Currently, I'm at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital in San Francisco, California, where I've been for the last five years. Um, I mention it because as a state employee, my employment there is publicly available and so is my salary, I think. But it's very important to say I am not officially representing UCSF, its nurseries, any patients, staff, doctors, or really anything um, at the hospital, university, state of California, anything you can possibly think of. I'm just representing me. This is completely personal. Anything I discuss will not be um, about patients that I've specifically treated because I take HIPAA very, very seriously. And I don't want any patient I care for to think that they might have less privacy because I have a YouTube channel. If I ever share a patient's story, it will be with a full disclosure and written permission slip from families. But in general, there's a lot of things to talk about without even having to get into anything specific. Uh, I might also answer questions that are generic enough that they can't constitute medical advice because I definitely won't be doing that on this channel. Uh, I can't tell you if another hospital did something right or wrong. I, I know standards of care that are universal, but even within those standards, there's very valid reasons for people to do something different. And without being there and knowing everything about a case, I can't explain why they may have made the decisions they've made or whether that was the right decision or not. That's above my pay grade. I, and I don't want to second guess those providers. Hopefully people will find more understanding of diseases and conditions affecting babies um, through my channel. Uh, and I encourage everyone to remember that I'm talking in generalities. If anything I say contradicts what your child's provider has said, um, either trust your providers are doing what is right for your child in their child specific case, or use what I've said as a stepping off point to maybe discuss why they've chosen to do this instead of that. Because it could be that they don't know about it, or it could be that they've considered it and for X, Y, and Z, they've decided to do something different. Um, but please, please do not assume that your child's caregivers are incompetent or anything bad because everyone is trying very, very hard to do the best that they can for babies. Um, and even the hospitals that are as high of a level as the ones I've worked at, they do amazing jobs stabilizing the babies until we can come and pick them up. So I wanna give a big shout out to outside hospitals too. You're awesome. Um, I'm one of those coastal liberals, just as a warning, um, as, as well as a pacifist and an atheist. I was all of those things even before I moved out west. Um, I was those things when I was in Ohio and when I was in Texas, that was fun. Yeah, no, actually they were, they were super supportive, but uh, I do feel a lot more normal now that I live on the West Coast. Um, I share those openly for background on my views and especially sharing that I'm an atheist to just decrease stigma for atheists in general, especially for those in caring professions. You can still be incredibly empathetic, emotionally supportive, and support a patient's religion even when you are not a personally a believer. Um, when I'm at work, my views don't enter into it. It's only about the patient's family and their beliefs. As long as your beliefs cause no harm to your child or anyone else, I will do everything I can to respect and value your beliefs or lack thereof if that's the way you roll. Uh, some of my interests in the NICU have in the past have been in ethics, uh, in end of life slash palliative care, bronchopulmonary dis uh, dysplasia, clinical management, language barriers and their impact on family, transport slash flight nursing, um, and nurse practitionering, there's not a good way to say that. Um, and I'm generally a nerd and love learning. I, I'm a huge nerd. I found a lot of, I'm also a dork and a geek, pretty much any way you can be weird, I am. I found a lot of NICU people aren't, which is sort of sad for me. Um, but if your NICU is filled with nerds, let me know because I totally want to, I want to visit um, because I would love to have it so I'm not the only person who knows who a, what a TARDIS is or um, who likes Weird Al. You know, weird things. Um, 
I named the channel NICU Nuggets because we've been known to call our babies nuggets or friends at times. Um, I think it's just fun and my, my kids are going to work on drawing me some pictures to make a, a pretty little intro or something. Um, this is Annie. She is my kitty cat. Well, she's technically my daughter's kitty, but my daughter sent her to live with me while I was in San Francisco so I wouldn't get too lonely. Um, she is amazing and very, very affectionate, as you can tell. Anytime I try to record, she's probably going to be nearby or ruining it somehow because that's what she does. Um, if you watch this, thanks. Comment with something you'd like to learn about with a NICU. Um, like and subscribe if that's your thing, because I guess you have to say that every single video I've ever seen says that, even though I think I can figure out how to like and subscribe these days myself. Uh, oh, also disclaimer, I probably will allow commercials in general on this site, but I'm not going to do other forms of monetizing. I can't imagine um, because I'm not quitting my day job. I'm good as an NP and I don't want to do anything different. I just thought that this would be fun and I'm kind of bored because it's COVID, staying at home, sheltering in place, whatever you do. Um, and that's it. Thank you for coming and talking to me. I don't know what I'm doing.